surround himself with the right kind of folks. And every time I sing that song, and Brother John knows this, and Jacob and some others, uh, that song reminds me of my pastor, Dr. Curtis Hudson. Uh, he died 20 years ago. Uh, some of you guys obviously weren't even around at that point, but Dr. Hudson died uh, at uh, 62 years of age with cancer. But uh, every time I think about that song, the winning side, I remember him uh, frail of body, just a few days left before the Lord would take him, and he stood up and sung that. And uh, it, it just is a challenge to me that no matter what I'm going through, the victory has already been won. And uh, Jake preached last night from a great text and a great thought that we already have the victory in Christ. But this morning, I want you to turn to the book of Joshua, chapter number 17. Joshua, chapter number 17. And uh, the Lord obviously knows so much what he's doing that jo uh, Jacob had no idea where I would go and I really had no idea where he would go. But I think these messages will build upon each other. And I agree 100% with what Jake said. Every word he said, I say amen and amen. Uh, God wants to do for you what you cannot do for yourself. And uh, the victory is there. And it's Christ in you, working in you to complete you. It's not what you do for Christ. But there are some principles that I'd like to show you this morning. And uh, I'm not going to read all the text, but I'll read verse 14 down to the end of the passage and then maybe give you the context of where we are in Joshua chapter number 17 and jump right into the message. The Bible says in verse number 14, And the children of Joseph, now this is the tribe of Manasseh and Ephraim, Manasseh and Ephraim, the children of Joseph spake unto Joshua, saying, Why hast thou given me but one lot and one portion to inherit, seeing I am a great people? For as much as the Lord hath blessed me hitherto. And Joshua answered them, If, if thou be a great people,